So I'm going to uh, show you visit right now and visit it did provides predictive analytics for images. It's so cool. And obviously we have less than two seconds to grab a consumer's attention. Right now, depending on the consumer and the age, it can be as little as 0 0.04 seconds to grab someone's attention. And we process these images very, very quickly. And imagine if you watch any young kids scrolling, they scroll so fast. And so having images that grab people's attention is really important. And in here, you know, 88% of consumers consider the product image the key element of their online shopping experience. And 95% of consumers that click into a carousel view every image. And a carousel is the side swiping that has multiple images. And I mean, they say 95% of purchasing decisions happen when in subconsciously when you're processing visual information. And it's about the emotional connection that you have to the picture that you're seeing. And bad content is the number one reason consumers don't convert online. And I want to say too, bad content isn't necessarily that it's not professionally produced because in some environments, the more professionally done these photos are, the less they'll convert and people want real humans using the products and they'll convert more on those. But there's simple little tricks to the images that make them more compelling. And I love this example. So Master Lock had this original image of the safe. And in this original image, it got a score. The visit score is out of 100. It was 18.6. Then you put the image into the tool and it does this heat map and tells you the things you need to change. And it's kind of like Photoshop on the back end. And so they changed a few things. They changed the orientation. They opened the door a little bit more. They lit up the inside and they put some items in there that were recognizable. And the visit score went up to 90.2, very high, a high likelihood that people would be visually engaged with the image and more likely to convert. So they got an increase, a 30% increase in sales simply by changing this. And you look at the two pictures, they're not that different. But this is predictive analytics, and this is the power of predictive analytics. And they also got increased traffic and conversion. Um, they work with a lot of big brands. And part of the con contribution to the algorithm is picking who your customer is and it creates an audience lens of who that customer is and produce it and gives you the image feedback based on who the customer is that you are trying to appeal to and different aspects about that person. So they get your audience data, then AI analyzes it, you get the image scores, and then you can see this back end, you can optimize it. And let's see, we'll go through here. Um, they've been doing a lot of work with Harley Davidson. And this one, Heartfelt Happy Moms, <laughs> is the audience lens. And you look at these images and the pictures don't look that different, but to get something that is highly converting by just changing out a few items, it's so incredibly simple. And this is where AI can be really powerful for us. By changing their images, you can see their score of the 14 on the right. They got a 54% increase in sales during this study period and it's 71% increase in page views as well. And if you could just know what the right image is that will get people to buy and you increase your sales by 54%, can you imagine the difference that would make for your business? If you could run every image through here, 
And this, you know, this is replacing the kind of hard trial and error that you would do with Facebook advertising. And these scores, like the 98.6, 54.5, I'm seeing these being built in increasingly in all sorts of different so software, whether yeah. it's measuring the likelihood of an image to convert, measuring the quality uh, of a headline, like in the co-headliner tool that I love to use. It, it's really, I think it's going to become pretty standard, just like you'll see in like Netflix, it'll say, you know, likelihood that you will uh, enjoy this movie. Yeah. And on this one, they're talking about the savings of Harley Davidson. They saved $5 million in operational expenses by using Visit AI. And they applied it to their motorcycle design process. So they could test these images to see what people would buy and then actually design and produce motorcycles based on what their audience is going to like. 